All right, the map is SeaTac Tabor, however you say that. And we're the black player fourth in the turn order, and these are the bonuses. Two, 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 three, four, two, two, five, four, three, five, two, two, and two. And this blizzard makes into a one point hold for this two over here, and you just hit red, and you get it round one plus two. That's a one point hold, a very strong start for you. Very strong indeed. And we have, so these two blizzards are crazy over here. Well, this blizzard really. Any other strong points around here? So this blizzard, I mean, this is a natural 1.0 for plus two. That's kind of crazy right there. No, it's 2.0, but this makes it into a 1.0. So that'd be a good spot for somebody. There's a blizzard down here not doing a whole lot. You're attacking over here. Bad dice. Were you trying to get a, a bonus? You were trying to grab a round one bonus is what you were trying to do. And you didn't get it. Unlucky for you. Where am I strong at? I've got a lot over here. Three for the yellow player. I've got nothing on this part of the board. Oh, there's a blizzard here as well. Lots of blizzards like that. What do I want here? This is a one, two... Is that a three-point hole? I don't think those touch, do they? First time playing this map, by the way. I mean, that's a plus two over there that has a three and a one in my way, and I can fortify this in. I've got a, I've got eight over here. There's one, two, five troops in my way over here. I'm far away from purples. Here's the thing. Purple has a one-point hold here, and they're probably going to go for this next, and then I'll be up against them. Or if I, But if I go over here, I'm away from them. But if I'm not here stopping them, somebody else just gets this. But I, over here... This is a total of plus four if I go for this. If I go for this, I'm going for, yeah. I can take out two troops and get a plus two, or I can take out four troops for a plus two next to you. I think I want to be over here. It's a two point hold for plus four. It's better than two point hold for plus two. So we stack this over here and we are going to, we're going to hit this right here with just enough. Leave some over there. And then we're going to hit this over into here. And then we are going to fortify this over to here. And we'll work on a two point hold four plus four kind of catches me up with this guy because once they grab this, they'll have a one two point hold and plus four will be uh, kind of even. Red player might be going for this right here and they get it. And they take your actions very quickly. Two bonuses on the first turn for the red player. What is this match? What is this match? That's a plus seven. That is a plus seven on a one, two, three point hold. That's a problem. Somebody has to break this guy. I I can't. I'm not I'm not over there. I'm not over here to attack this way. I'm not over here to attack this way. I guess I could stack my five troops right here and try 6v3. Ah oh, man, that's that's crazy. I'll try my best to win this, but getting second place might be a <laughs> a happy situation cuz that is an omega god spawn if I ever saw one plus 7 on the first turn. That's nutty. Although if the white player secures this, eventually they're going to, if we can clear the white player out of the rest of the board and get them trapped to being exclusively in here, then eventually they have no choice but to hit this guy. So that's something we could try for as well, although that does rely on all of us pushing the white player out of here, right? Yellow player stacking three right there. I'm also going to be doing the editing a little bit differently for this if you haven't noticed already. Um... Normally I edit by like my voice and the sound effects, but that's just a lot more work. So I'm just going to edit by, by by my voice exclusively. You are getting fantastic dice. That is a plus four. Okay. It looks like a, I think this does connect over here. So maybe one, two, three point hold. Do these touch over here? I don't know what they do. First time playing this map. All right. Five troops for us is great. Do I go for anything else? I could try to grab this as well. I don't know that it's really worth it. We definitely want to, I already have this, seven beats of three. Do I go for this plus five in greed? Do I try for this plus four? Do I try for this plus three? I feel like we should try to greed a little bit. Nobody's breaking this guy. What if I were to, um, we, we work on greeting, but like we don't do it right away. We do it eventually. Like we hit this over here, like so, and lost none is fantastic. And then we hit this over here, and then, you know, we, 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 we greed, but like eventually, eventually stronger near the red player. And, you know, we can we can work for this thing eventually signal to every them going for this. And hopefully this guy doesn't use those 10 to go for us. Seems like everyone wants to play good neighbor. Seems to be the case. If I'm the red player, I don't want to attack in here. Why are you making it easier for the white player to do that? That's crazy. I feel like because you spent I mean, I guess they got good dice, but. You could have waited for the white player to waste their troops hitting this and this and then clean them up. But this is good. Maybe the red player starts a fight with the white player here and that and then like that goes poorly for them. Ooh, did you just try 3v2? I guess you're trying to get a card somewhere. 
don't know what you're doing over here. I'm not gonna worry too much. You're, I thought you were gonna be the threat. Oh man, I lost 40 or one. That's rough here. I thought you were gonna be the threat. I'm surprised you're not going for this first. We, that, um, why would you not go for, just go for this? You could have just grabbed this bonus. I guess you just, I guess they wanted me out of here so that they don't have to worry about me. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about this guy. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> the white player is big mad, the red player. Big mad. I love this because this, this look at this. They're down to 17 troops. The white player actually has more troops than they do. This is good. This is what we needed. We needed the guy with the crazy god spawn to just have a rough time of it. And we just sit back on our two point hold on our plus four and just kind of like slowly build up, slowly build up. Maybe we can grab another cheeky bonus somewhere else. I don't know. We'll find out. Seven troops for us. I'm not going to try and grab this thing right away, but I will, uh, you know, slap a little more there for defense and then put these over here. And maybe we hit this light he right here like that. And maybe just leave eh, it's just like that right there. And uh, is there anything I can fortify I care about here? No. And we'll chill and we'll, we'll we'll gradually work towards this. I'm not going to agree towards it. We've seen what's happened to the red player over here. They take their turn so quick. They take their turn so very, very quickly, but they didn't get the break there. That's, this is good for us that the red player is kind of self-destructing on the, the white player. There is the concern that they um that they eventually beat the white player and then they have all of this. Then they have a one, two point hold on three bonuses, four bonuses, actually, for a total of plus, you know, five, seven, nine, eleven would be be a big concern. So if we see them beat the white player, we yellow or I because the, the I guess the purple could as well need to go in and like break this guy. I mean, the purple or yellow could just go through and hit this guy. Looks like purple's trying to grab this bonus as well. Okay, so I probably want to grab... Oh, they, they do that. Now they got their plus four. They've got 26 troops. I've got 27. They've had their turn. So I've actually got... I'm I'm ahead because they've just not got this, grabbed their second bonus. What we want to do is we want to get this probably this turn. Seems like everybody wants to be good neighbor. They've got a nine buried right there. That's fine. I don't care about that. They're actually very easy to break right here, but we're, we're going good neighbor. They hit them here. Yes, white and red are going to war. This is good for the rest of us. The rest of us need is fight for our land. Oh, we can, oh, we can break the other bonus too. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's having a bad time over there. Okay. All right. So this is, this is really, really good. The red player is like nearly primed for elimination. I don't know if it's worth it for card trade. Yeah, the card trades aren't really big enough to be really worth taking out red here. But they are viable for elimination. Looks like Yell's going for this bonus next over here. Okay, that's fine. What is that? That's a plus three. That would give them plus seven a turn. If I grab this plus four, I'm getting plus eight a turn. That's fine. So I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. So yellow, purple, and I are just kind of like trying to be homie, homie, buddy, buddy. We want they're you know, they're we're all vulnerable for attacks, whatever, and they're vulnerable for attacks. I'm not breaking them. We're just being buddies here. I'm gonna do one of these. We are going to do like a sort of trust exercise, sort of not here. Leave like two back there. And okay, so this does not touch down there. That's fantastic. I don't need to worry about defending against that. Good. So that's good to know that that doesn't touch down there. No, it looks like it does. And then we're going to do one of these like so. It occurs to me I, I can fortify this eight forward at some point or like half of it here and the next turn half it over there. And just have a one, two, three point hold on uh, my plus eight. I'm not gonna remember that. I'm not gonna remember that plus five just yet, especially with that nine in there, right? Yep. And you are the white player is actually pretty pretty prime for elimination. The yellow player could get the kill on the white player. I would have to go through. I would. I mean, I could do a double kill on red and white at some point. Maybe we should have been lining up for that instead of going for this bonus. Because um, they are... Purple's going to break me here. They're going to break me. They're going to do it. <sighs> hmm. I would like to emote the angry sign on them, but it's not going to happen. I mean, if you break yellow as well, I'm like, okay with it. You can't reach yellow. Okay. Okay. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. I see how it is. I'm down to 23 troops because of you. So the purple player has declared war on us. And this is really unfortunate. The, I, 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 was, I didn't realize the purple player was this bad. I didn't realize the purple player was this bad. 
we are in progressive. This is not something you can just do and get away with. So now that we know that, so we have yellow and, and red going to war, but kind of maybe true something a little bit. What I need to do is I need to just give up on trying to hold this. I'm not going to try and like go through and break purple and self-destruct on them, even though I'd be justified in doing so because they've just declared war on me, took out like, wow, like 11 of my troops and broke my bonus. What we will do is... What's yellow? Is yellow going to go for me now, too? Is this going to be like a double whammy, both of you getting up in any kind of scenario? Or are you just going to grab your bonus? You're just chilling. All right. So unfortunately, purple started a war with me. I'm going to try and de-escalate tensions with purple. I'm not going to, uh, you know, mess with them or anything like that. I am going to just... We are going to get a card and chill. Uh, I, I guess when they hit my four here, it should be my sign that they're not the homie. What we will do is we will... We'll just, I want a card somewhere. I stack these here. I hit your four on my face now. I hit... I, I, what am I pathing? I'm going to hit this right here. I'm not even going to touch purple. I'm not even going to touch purple. The reason I didn't hit here, because they might not like me hitting their four, I want purple to calm down and leave me alone so I can build up and recover. They're going to take out the white player here because the yellow player can take him out. So, I would have... I would have liked to focus on getting, trying to like maybe get a kill on, uh, you know, red or white when they're weak, but the purple player decided to go to war with me. Purple going to war with me, war with me there was a horrible move on their part, because what they've done is they've just set us both behind and gotten the yellow player farther ahead. The yellow player has five cars, they have 47 troops, they've just given first place to them. Yes, I will do the homie alliance with you. Absolutely, I won't be the homie with you. Here's a problem, I'm now pretty far behind on troops. But we have a read on the purple player, and they're probably not that great. They're stacking on a 10 right here, instead of stacking over here. They're stacking here, instead of stacking here. So they have, like, their stacks buried a little bit. There's no shot I let you hold a plus 3 when you come through and break my plus 4 and all my troops. No shot. No shot. Because if I let you hold this, all that happens... Red's gonna sit here... Red's gonna be buddy-buddy with yellow. Yellow's being buddy-buddy with everybody. Purple's being buddy-buddy with yellow. Red wants to be buddy-buddy with everybody. So what's going to happen here is I'm... If I let you guys... Like, there's no world where I can sit back and let you have... 5, 7, 9, 11 a turn. And you have 3, 5, 7, 9 a turn. Why I'm only getting 4 a turn? Because purple over here decided I don't get to have my plus 8. You can try and take me out this turn. 24 with good dice could take me out. No? Okay. I need to get a bonus and get to keep it. Which means... I need, I'm, I need to get purple out of my face. Um, we have to... Purple wants to have their bonus and block me out of mine. Probably because they want that one point hold. I... What we do here is we... Uh, break everybody here. And we obviously break this bonus from you as well. And then we uh, move back over into here. And we do a trust exercise with yellow and hope they don't break me from behind. Yellow could go through and break everything I have. Uh, what do you can do there? Red acts, acts quick. All I know is yellow's done nothing to me, red's done nothing to me. Purple, on the other hand, is completely untrustworthy. So we stack everything here to guard against purple. And we can card trade here with purple if they want to. But we do not ever give purple a, a, a path to go through and break me again. The only way purple goes through me is over here. And actually what we can do, if we, we can let purple grab this, and we can just stack bigger and bigger here, and we can card trade with yellow and red over here. And then purple gets farther and farther behind, and then we manage to punish purple for what they did to us, um, without even uh, having to go through and break all their stuff. Although, I mean, what's better, card blocking them or getting a plus three? Oh, interesting. They stack two over there. I don't think they want me to break them, honestly? I would rather card break them. I would rather card block them than them. I mean, what are they going to get next turn? What they get this turn? They got 11 troops. If they have a card trade in four, they could have like 26 troops coming in to break me. Never mind. Yellow did it for me. Fantastic. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. So purple can hit yellow for a card over here, and I will just leave purple alone over here. And we can just go for a card over here. I still will defend aggressively over against them and do keep continue the trucks exercise with these two. Purple's not gonna like that, but I want to have a stack so big there that they just won't they can't be bothered to hit it. 
That's just, that's, that's my win condition here. Because it looks like red and yellow both want to chill. And they're, uh, I don't love the position of the stack as far as going for eliminations. Like, what if I want to eliminate red or yellow? I don't really have a good path for it. I, I'm only uh, poised to eliminate purple. But because of the way purple is playing aggressively towards me, like, the only person being aggressive towards anybody right now is purple towards me. Them coming through and breaking my 11 stack. These guys, I'm chill with yellow. I'm chill with red. Red's chill with yellow. They're like, it's just, it's just, everybody's chill with everybody except for purple against me. So I have no choice but just kind of like, chill out of here. Ooh, and they put this stack over there. Interesting. I think I hit that. <laughs> oh, yellow. Oh, yellow. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Were they hope? <laughs> Purple is just a wild card, man. Purple is just a wild card. They've got nothing against me personally. They're, they just, some people just want to see blood. Purple is bad. <laughs> There's the gravestone. There it is. Purple is just not good at the game. They're, they just want to break everybody's bonuses. And they're going, and they don't, <laughs> they're just, all right. I, I, I think they just fed the kill on yellow to red, unless the red player, uh, unless yellow gets card trading four. All right. So I've got a 36 stack here. Problem is purple still has 61 troops. My 36 stack, I mean, with a card trade, can I take up, they only have two cards, really not worth going for it. Are they going to self-destruct, or are they going to try and recover? Hmm, here's the thing. Red might go for eliminations. Who do, all right, we got to think about eliminations right now. We got to think about eliminations right now. Um, I'm going to have a, do I have a card trade in four? I do with a wild card. 30 plus my whatever, like, I don't know, like 10 or whatever it was. So like 40, I could have a 76 stack. A 76 stack, I need to eliminate somebody. Problem is purple's going to be hard to eliminate. You might be trying to eliminate purple this turn. Um... I mean, purple only has two cards, really not worth to eliminate for two cards. Yellow's gonna have two cards, not worth to eliminate, eliminate for two cards. Um, hmm. I mean, and you're not the. Uh, if yellow had cleared all of this out of here faster, which they won't, because they're gonna run out of time. Um, I would have gone for purple, but it's just, it's it's too spread out and inconvenient across the board. You red 62 stack is a big problem. I'm actually going to car trade just for safety right here, so uh, it's hard for them to take me out. And I am going to... They're yawning. What do I do here? Do I just focus on one big stack? What I can do is... I don't want to stack next... This is really hard to focus with all this. What do I do? 77 stack? Or try and grab another bonus? What if I were to... Put these here... Hit this, and then don't, at this point in the game, let people break me. It's all about having one big stack and keeping your cards going. Red's going to come through. They're going to break all my bonuses. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. What I'm worried about is having one big stack in a position where I can go anywhere I want for elimination. And here's not a bad spot. This can hit here, and then this can go here for yellow. Yeah, you're going to take out... Uh, I didn't. Th I guess I should have thought about the double kill. Yeah. Yeah, if, if I'd taken out yellow and purple, that would have given me four cards. Yeah, I, I haven't played in two weeks. I'm rusty. Uh, yeah, he gets the double kill here. Let's see, he runs out of time. He screwed up. He doesn't have... Oh, no, no. I gave him a path through. He can go through me to hit yells one right here. And he is fast enough to get the double kill here. Yeah, so can I beat red in a 1v1? They have three cards. They're going to get four cards here. Oh, they're just going for the kill on yellow. That's actually not, that's actually good for me. Yeah, yeah, that's good for me. I mean, but then, oh no, because then they get a card, they reset the card trade. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, my, my failure to go for the double kill is a huge mistake. I need to go for the double kill on purple and yellow. And then I should, I'd be the one doing strong here. Yep, no, he's got the card trade. But he, uh, once he, and I don't have a card trade as well. How can I beat you in the 1v1? Can I beat you in the 1v1? Yeah, hmm. No, I just, I screwed up by letting you have the kill on both purple and yellow. That's a problem. And I card trade, make yours bigger. All right. How do I beat you? I guess my 74 stack can kind of run rampant. You screwed up. He screwed up. He screwed up. He didn't, he made an axe and didn't split properly. He's still ahead of me. But this does change things. I can get the kill on uh, purple here. And then run my 74. He's still in the lead. He's still in the lead. He's still in the lead. Here's the problem. I can hit here, 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 run through the board. All right. We got to go crazy. He's got a 49 stack primed on me. We don't worry about that. We worry about 
making hits. Gotta go crazy, get everything. Yep, purple didn't want <laughs> them to get the kill, I guess. All right, give me that. Um, got another car trip into that leader, actually. That's huge for us. We gotta go faster. All right, we gotta go real quick here, in case I have time, which I don't think I will. All right, path things gonna be tricky on this. I don't think I can get you this turn, but if I can do a lot of damage here, it's gonna be good for us. First time playing this map, by the way, we're learning. Also, I haven't played the game in like two weeks. We're rusty. Gotta go though. All, all the damage, all the damage. All right, hit this so he has nothing to work with. We're running out of time, so let's just break his bonuses. All right, there we go. We broke his bonuses. There we go. He, he, yeah. Uh, ooh, card trade in three is incredibly lucky for you. You are so lucky to have a card trade in three. But I still have 60. Uh, you have 67 troops. I have 90. I have 45 territories. You have nine. I have three cards. We're still in a very strong position here. We're still in a very strong position. If I have card tree in three, you're done. No. All right. But we're still looking good. You hit my 28 stack, but you're, you know, you can, you can go through all this. You can, you can break a lot of my stuff. All right. I'm still very far ahead of you, though. The This was Red's match to win. Them failing the kill on purple. Game ender for them. We're both struggling with a turn timer here. Also, I'm rusty. I haven't played in two weeks. Pretty good match, though. I expect this guy to be at least probably an intermediate or expert, right? All right, you're bringing all my bonuses. That's fine. All right. If I had more time, if it had give me a two minute turn timer, I would have won. But then again, so did they, right? No cards right here for us. A bit of a problem, but we can. Um, uh, let's get this up to six there. That takes out there. We could do these over here and hit this for a bonus. And we hit over it into here and then here. You've got two bonuses over there. That's really not that big of a deal. It's car traits at this point. They're going to make and break the deal. So that's what we're focusing on is that. But breaking you probably would have been a decent idea, honestly. We should have done that. Do this. And then we uh, fortify. Let's go for this four over to here, I guess. Make it a little bit hard for them to break that. You get nine troops. It's not bad, but I'm gonna get a card trade before you. Do I have my card trade yet? I don't. Doesn't matter. I'll get a card trade in five, and we'll still be fine. I need to go through and break these two bonuses. You getting plus nine is not okay. Um, what can I do? I mean, I've, I'm gonna get some over here though. Oh, yeah, plus eighteen is huge. I can just uh, stack these all right here, and uh, we'll be fine. I'll get my card trade before you. Uh, let's go ahead and slap that out of there. And we'll hit this like so, bit of this, bit of this. Thank you. I think they understand the game's over. I think they understand it's over. Let's go ahead and slap more of this stuff over here. As much damage as we can here. Hit this like so. Leave that four there. You can hit over here, because why not? And yeah, make, make it hard for them to break me. You fortify this three over two, I guess, over here. Let's make it hard for them to break me. But I think they understand the game's over. I think they realize I've got a card trade. I'll have a card trade on five. They don't, but they're the, some some people have like the never give up mentality, and even though the game's lost, they'll keep going. But uh, yeah, there's nothing you can do, buddy. Nothing you can do. All you can do is s stall and waste time. Give me this card trade. There we go. And now let's go through and can I chase through here, through here, through here? Yeah, we'll make stack through here. Should be fine. Now let's get you done. A little bit of this. Get you like so. And we're to learn the map for the first time. And despite almost feeding this guy a double kill there, we get the win. Interesting match. A good match. This can hit over here like that. There we go. Keep it cooking. And just like that. Let's give him a good game. Well played. And we take him out. And there it is. You'd love to see it. Aha, they were an expert. So was White. All right, the map is Ericus, And these are the bonuses. Four, four, two, two, one, three, four, two, and two. I don't think I've ever seen a plus one bonus before. First time playing this map, by the way. And we're the white player last in the turn order. And this blizzard makes it into a one, two point hold for this plus two right here. And this blizzard makes it into a one, two, three point hold for this plus four is not bad. It's a good blizzard, actually. And it also makes this one less point hold this, so it becomes a one, two, three, four, five point hold for this. It's still rough to hold that. The blue player is attacking four from a gent over there, and they get that plus that that two point hold for plus two. 
Uh, the black player also is going to have a two-point hold for plus two over here is pretty nice for them. Smart than to leave that. Ooh, look how quickly they put their troops down. This is somebody who has... That's, pro that's probably expert rank, I'd imagine. Are you going to break them? No, you're going good neighbor. All right, so a great start for both of you. Where am I at? Ah, uh, there's a six and a five here, and I've got eight. Eight of my troops are in the bonus that's being contested by... 11, 12, 13, so that's not good. Also, I can't get these seven out of here until this six moves, so that's a problem. Magenta puts three down here. Why there? Why? Because you wanted to hit this and you got it. Now you've got a plus two, but you have nothing to hold that. You, you're going to do a trust exercise? And I have a seven here that's trapped between a five and four. My start is horrible. Horrible. I've got nothing. This seven is not going to grab a bonus. This seven is not going to grab a bonus. This 10 over here. I mean, I guess I could try for the I could go for this plus one. <laughs> oh, oh, red just hits that. Oh, give me a path out. Give me a path out of there. Fortify that six there so I can move my my four hits there and hits there and my three fortifies out. You're going for this bonus here, I think. Or you're just you're a mad lad. I could I don't mind going for this plus two over here. I mean, there's nine in my way, but I've got seven there and seven here. Or I could use this. You're just you're you're crazy. This was the, this was the one, like this guy and I think this guy were spamming ad bot start game before the lobby it, when the when they were in there for like 30 seconds. So they have no patience. They've trapped these troop troops these guys in here. So this these guys are here. They're dead. This guy is going to eventually stack these here and hit these out. He's going for this bonus. So these these seven here. See you later. They're they're toast. Um, which means I, I'm not going to try a 12 to fight these nine, but I do have uh, these here. I could hit this and this and try to have a trust exercise on this. This is a two point hole for plus one and I have to take eight troops to grab it. It's terrible. That's such a bad bonus. I could push Magenta's having a what's Magenta going to do to retaliate to me taking this from them? Not much, not much. They're not going to do much. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this hit this, hit this, then we're going to fortify to protect it like so. Running, I, I, I was running a bit low on the turn time where I actually should have fortified um, this over to here or whatever, because now blue is going to want to go for this. Magenta's mad. I know you're mad, but you're not in a position to do anything to retaliate to me. Um, rough luck that uh, red went crazy for you, but, you know, read the board before you try to, like, grab a bonus with no protection on it, right? Ooh, blue might hit me. No, they're going for that bonus. That gives them a plus two. I might just let them have that. Um, I don't know that I want to fight blue right now. Um, I, th I mean, I mean, it's actually kind of good for me that blue is here and here because they have to defend against the black player over here, and then they have to defend against. They're they're doing a trust exercise with me. I'm actually down for that. I'm down for a trust exercise with you. I don't want. Oh, you're gonna hit, no, you move over here. Okay, the black player. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and they break blue. I'm going to I'm going to do the trust exercise of the blue player here. 100 percent, 100 percent. I trust with them because um, then I can have a one point hold of my plus two and then I can focus on like doing stuff with this over here. Um, What do we want? I want to get another bonus is what I want. I could try to grab this one. I don't want to hit your four, though. Did you imagine you... Oh, you're still here. You're probably trying to... Oh, you can roll a 4v5 and hope to break me in revenge? Red's the guy who destroyed you, mind you. Red's the one who destroyed you. No. I think they're just trying to recover and get a bonus, which I'm actually okay with. Unless they're kind of like the... I'm going to get revenge. Sometimes people will be mad at Red, but then I... Yeah, you know, like, they should be mad at Red, but then I broke their bonus, and so they'll be more mad at me because I piled on to their pain. Red, oh, please break them. No? All right. Hmm. Yeah, Red's... Yeah, I feel like red and uh, magenta beginners, the black, probably more experienced player, the blue. Um, I was like, I don't know. Hard to say. I mean, the fact that blue's doing trust exercise me, so they're not like a complete novice. Magenta, kind of hard to say it, frankly. Red, uh, it's like, do you want me to get these troops out of there or not, buddy? Give me a path. You want me give me a path out, man. Give me a path out. Uh, what do I do here? Do I just can commit to pushing magenta out? I think I do. I don't care if I feed the kill them. I just don't want them like bothering me, frankly. I frankly just don't want them around here and you know, I'll, I'll take that bonus. We'll hit this. I don't care if I feed the kill. I just don't want them having a chance to get revenge on me. And I'll leave that there to protect against uh, them. And I'll fortify. I'll start working on fortifying things for safety. I'll move this over to here, I guess. 
it makes it easier for somebody else to grab that bonus, I guess. But right now, I'm trying to, like, protect what I have. I do want to move this forward, but I figured I'd move that out of the way in case somebody decides to go for that, and maybe they won't hit my four. But Jen is having a real, real, real bad day. Rough that red went for them, and unfortunate that my only halfway decent play was to go for this, unfortunately. Mostly because I saw they had no decent way to try and retaliate. Because, like, oh, they had... And that's the problem of trying to grab a board. And that's that's the, the I mean, I guess Magenta's mistake was trying to grab a bonus that they had nothing really to defend. Why did I go for that? Because there was only four troops there and their only troops were like halfway across the board and they can't retaliate. So I can take their bonus. So there's nothing they can do in response. And that's the only bonus I could grab. So that's kind of my play, right? All right. So you are trying to hold uh, a one, two point hold. Once you grab this, it'll be a one, two, three point hold for your plus four. That's fine. I'm worried you're going to have that 14, hit that 5, and then hit my 8. No, you're chilling. You're chilling over there. I'd love to see Magenta bot out so they don't try to get revenge on me. That's okay. that's because this is progressive. If they want to get revenge on me because I'm the one that yoink. I mean, at this point, they got to be more mad at me than Red, right? They're still here. I need them to, I need their spirit to be broken and get taken out. But we got, we've got a, I mean, this is not a great spot for me to be in here. Once I move this away and trust blue, it'll still be a one, two, three point hold on my measly plus three is not amazing. Red, yeah, there's red eventually gonna slap these out of here. If red was a better, more experienced player, they would have just fortified away from this and give me a path to like maybe attack out through there earlier or go out through here, but they'd rather just fight my seven troops and take forever to get their bonus, which I've just accepted. Hmm, if I grab, this is a one, two, three, four point hold do i go for this oh, will these guys let me hold it maybe we do go for it but like not right away not right like our like our end goal or what if we just did go for it and if somebody breaks me we just recover from it if somebody breaks me we just recover from it we take the risk you know if somebody wants to come through and break me i'll i'll, I'll just i'll just we'll we accept there's a world somebody like you know stacks here breaks this breaks this breaks this whatever i've got an eight here and eight here and, and there's a world where I can actually f like abandon this and have a one, two, three, four point hold on plus four. That's all right. Maybe we'll see. But blue definitely wants to do the trust exercise. That's good for both of us. Red's not going to mess me over here. Um, Magenta won't be able to break an eight. I guess maybe the card trade. Your 14 is not poised to really hit me. You could do, you could try there or there. Stack three over there. That's a good sign. They might be going for this bonus right here. This is a plus four for them. They might be going for that. I mean, there's a world where I could have gone for this instead, but give, I mean, give blue something else to go for as, as well, right? We're doing a trust exercise with them. If I grab this and red's here, what is blue's play? We need to give blue a play. So if give them, give them this bonus, right? I get this over here. You get this and this. Red plays around over here. Magenta just tries to, you know, stay in the game somehow. Magenta has 0% chance of winning this unless somebody else goes to war here. I mean, I respect the never-give mentality, but I'm just worried they're going to sit back to try and eliminate me. We should be looking to eliminate uh, Magenta when the time is right. The biggest mistake Magenta's making right now is they're stacking inside of Red's bonus. Like, it's it's very clear that Red wants this bonus, and if you keep staying inside of their bonus, well, <laughs> what do you think's going to happen? Nine troops for us is huge. Well, I need to get a card somewhere. Hmm... I mean, I could just hit into here and make sure the black players can get this and then fortify it. I could card trade in here. Could be good, actually. Um, yeah, let's do uh, a couple over here. A couple over here. And and just, uh, we'll card trade right here. I'm not going to try and grab this bonus. I'm not, I could leave my troops in there to block that bonus from other people, but I'm not going to. I, I don't, if somebody else has got their eyeballs on this, the last thing I want to do is like, stack a seven stack in there and block them from it and further incentivize them to like you know try and break me right now if i'm if i'm i'm hoping the blue players uh experienced enough to know to not hit that one don't give the black player uh, to, uh that 14 free to attack out in this realm keep that trapped where the only thing they can do is hit that five i mean i mean maybe for the blue player that could be good they hit this move back then the black player has a free chance to come down and break me so Maybe that should be a decent play for them. The blue player stack here. I think the blue player wants this. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, you're gonna you're gonna break everything I have. Yep. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. That's fine. We can just re we can respond to this. It's fine. 
the, they're spending all their troops doing this. This was a pretty big mistake on their part. This is a pretty big mistake on their part because they don't have the troops to defend themselves now. So look at this. Boom, boom, boom. I break everything you have. And uh, I can hit this two over here. And it is progressive. And you card trade to do that. I can card trade back. I'm not going to. I don't need to. And, um, yeah. So if I hit this and this and this, your 10 still would have... I mean, your 10's free to attack through there. No blues, 10's blocks. I can recover from this. This is fine. My only concern right now is if Black and I go to war for too long, or if Magenta decides to try and, like, self-destruct me at some point. I still have 26 troops. I'm only two behind you. I haven't card traded. Red's still working on their bonus. Magenta's blocking them, which is fine. I wouldn't mind hitting... If, if Black hadn't broke me there, I would have just hit you for a card and push you out of here and further trap you in this corner over there. Red's just... I mean, Red's hasn't held a bonus yet, and they've got more troops than me. I guess they card traded. All right. Plus five for us. I don't need to card trade here. We will... I could do a 12 stack here. Hmm... I mean... I'm just... You know what? No, we don't need to. What I can do is um, put a few over here. And some over here. And then we will uh, hit you over here to break everything you have. And we'll have to fortify that back. And then we'll come over here and reclaim some of this. I'm not actually, not actually going to grab that. We'll fortify this back over to here. And that's actually... Oh, it's a three-point hold for this. One, two, three-point hold for plus three. It's not terrible. I imagine we're about to lose this over here. That's fine. Blue player's looking good over there. I haven't card traded, so that's pretty helpful. The blue player, they I don't think I don't think they stacked that there. I wasn't paying attention. That might have just been like where their card put it. That's fine. They got a big 20 stack here because they're trying to look for an elimination. Oh, they're gonna take it. Oh, oh, good. Well played, well played. Um I've been too I've been too busy dealing with, with the black player to focus on the fact that uh there's an elimination to be had on Magenta for five cards. Glad I didn't card trade because now um uh, Red's mad. <laughs> or no, no, they're saying this is fine. All right, so they get a big card trade right there, but it's only ten, so it's it's actually not so bad for us. It's worth it's worth it for them to do because they end their turn on five cards and they have like forty six troops, so they're in a good position. Unfortunately for me, the black player decided to break me at a time that was frankly not a good time. Like, it is almost never a good idea. Like this guy intermediate at best. It is never a good idea to go through and break somebody's three bonuses who can easily retaliate and break all yours. And you don't have a card trade either. You have you have three troops. Is that six income roll through here and break all this? No. All right, let's let's offer them an alliance. Give them, show them the alliance. Show them love. Let's get along. Be a little bit smarter here. Recognize the threat that the blue player is on the board because you went to war with me for no good reason. We all should have been sitting back, building up, getting our bonuses, defending our bonuses trying to get the waiting to get the elimination on magenta but instead you chose war with me now blue's by far in the lead and i'll be well in second place when i get my card trade before you guys because i got five cards you've got three and three eight troops for us force card trade on five i think that's fine yep do that it kind of eliminates something for cards here um hmm i take the black player out would give me another card trade uh, can I take you out with a 27 stack? Uh, you have 25. I mean, maybe? I don't know that I want to right now, though. What I want to do is... Probably just get a card. Just get a card over here. Stack. Hmm. I, I don't... I'm, I'm not gonna bother... I need... I, I need options for eliminations. But the problem is I'm not lined... I think we should line up for the elimination on you. I need to defend. Make them think I'm just defending still. I mean, it's pretty obvious I'm waiting for the elimination on them, but, you know, what are you going to do? Be unoffensive, move back out of the way. Um, I'm not sure. It's it's like, how do I line up to eliminate uh, the black player without making it clear that I'm lining up to limit the black player? I have no choice. In order to line up to get the elimination on the black player, I have to ha stack here, or here, based on where my things are at. I could go on for them this turn and maybe got it, but even with the card after, I would have been pretty weak afterwards. So you can eliminate red right here for three cards. With your 31 stack and your 18 stack, you actually could. Yeah. You're, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a problem. I'm lining up to eliminate the black player when in reality. This guy's about to smack the, the red as well. Man, the black player, if they had just... That one turn, that one turn of them breaking me and me having to retaliate was all it took for this guy to get the boom, magenta next turn, boom, red next turn. And I, we're over here just trying to posture and recover from this war. 
That is why it's such a bad idea to start a fight with somebody in progressive if you can't immediately finish it. And they're in a position to retaliate. And there's a card trade from you. I'm not lined up to deal with blue at all. All right. You're, uh, you're trying to feed the black kill to me? No, you're getting the black kill yourself. Oh, you're just going to get another. You're just going to get another kill again. Oh, no. Man, that sucks. I guess I could have not hit the. How do I? What do I do now? Cross my fingers and hope that you don't get done in time. You will. You get another card trade. You're so strong. That's a double kill. Yeah, man. It was just a free. It was just. It's just. It's just free. Uh, uh, just it, it was free because red and magenta went to war a little bit. I hit magenta a little bit, but it was basically it was between myself, black and blue. Black went to war with me and then just fed the two kills to blue. So it's just the freest match of blue's life, right? Is there anything? I, I need a card trade on three here, and I have one. Maybe there's a world I can get you with my card trade on three. I that's my only chance here. Leave that 15 buried so we don't hit this or this. Let you have that plus two. Keep that 15 buried. I need to go through and break everything you have. Um, so we need, and don't hit that or that. So I could hit here all the way through here. Um, we got to break everything you have. That's what we got to do. So that's well, we got. Don't even hit the 17 stack. Leave it be. Leave it be. We need to go quick here. And we need to break almost, or almost everything you have. Hit this. Hit this. Hit this. Hit this. I don't care about that 17 stack. It's all about breaking your territories right now, really. Um, I can path around. First time playing this map, by the way, so... Pathing exists, right? Do that. I didn't realize I connected to that one. I could have done that differently. Keep hit, hitting everything I can here. Oh, that doesn't connect. Crap. All right. We can maybe work this. I've got 47. If you have no card trade on three, there's help. No! <laughs> You're the luckiest man alive! You're the luckiest man alive! I guess I was lucky to have a card trade on three, but... I mean, it's very lucky that the black player went to war with me. And... I just fed you a chance to get the kill on red and the kill on magenta. I guess, I mean, they did play well. I mean, I haven't played in two weeks. We're not playing well. I need you to screw up and not split properly. Unfortunately, I think you've got a clean path through the rest of the board. This might just be it right here. I feel like... I should have been, instead of like, instead of like, I was, I, I wasn't paying attention to the number of turns, once I hit like turn five or six or whatever, I should have been less worried about protecting my bonuses, and I should be more focused on like trying to have one big stack right to get elimination on red or whatever, and blue did that better than me. This is what happens if you don't play the game for um, two weeks. This is my second game today, but we're definitely still getting the rust off. You don't get my 18 stack there, but I don't think I can do anything with that 18 stack there, can I? I mean, no. There's nothing, there's, there's, there's nothing I can do here. Um, I could fight forever, but I could go through and break everything. Uh, he's, he's gonna get, just from territories around, he's, he's getting it, so. Nothing we can do here. I could sit here and, like, waste another five minutes of our time, but, um. Yeah, he gets 31 troops. I could have gotten that down to, like, maybe 10 troops coming in, but that, you know, 30 stack right there would have ran through everything. Second place, not bad, considering the black player just fed him the win. Yeah, yeah, the, the novice basically self-destructed at me and fed the win to the expert. That makes sense. All right, the map is Rivertown Advanced, and these are the bonuses. Three, two, 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 three, four, three, five, three, five, three, and four. And we're the orange player, third in the turn order. And this blizzard does nothing. And this blizzard does nothing, but this blizzard also does nothing. Plus four over here on... Oh, the red's going for the court district. They're going to get it on round one. That's a plus two, two-point hold for them. This blizzard does nothing. This blizzard here doesn't really do much either. This one makes this into a one point hold right here for this plus three. It's actually really, really nice. So that's a great thing for somebody to go for. Who's strong over there? I've got three. The white player's the strongest over there. So that three is probably four fit for us. I've got three here. You've got three, six. The white player's strong in both of these. Um, the white player's stronger over here too, but green's even stronger. Where am I strong at? I have two here, not strong there. One there, not strong there. I am all over the board, but mostly on the right side of the board. So I've got six here for this plus five, which is a one, two, three point hold. There's seven for red. I'm not, any, any bonus I'm in, other players are also in and stronger than I am. And you get a round one bonus over here as well. What do I get? What does CG get? A whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. I mean, I could actually try for this plus three in East Roads. That's unlikely. What can I go for here? So green's around here. They're, I guess green might be going for this. What can I get? I could... I mean, this three's in here. This three connects to here. This three connects to here. I could go for this plus four in the slums and a three-point hold. Has three, five, eight troops in the way. This has four, seven, eight, ten, eleven. There's less troops in my way over here. Same amount of points to hold. I don't have much anything. 
the white player, I just don't know what they're going to do. I think what we do is we stack these here and then we hit over into here like so. And then we fortify. Oh, whatever I want to fortify to. Hmm. Fortify this over onto here, I guess. And then we'll decide what to do from there. Hopefully nobody hits that one for a card. Based on what the white player does decides what I do. If they mess around down here, then I will just work my way into this. If they mess around over here, then I probably go down to here because it's a three point hold either way. And actually, if I grab this right here, it's a one two point hold. One two point hold four, though, does kind of block you. They're going over here. Okay. They're going over there and they hit my three and they lose none. So they are off to a much better start than we are. Please lose lots. Okay, they lost three there. That's not bad for us. It's something. All right. Okay, good, good, good. They're wasting all the troops. The white player might be a newer player. Which is both good and bad for us, frankly. Both good and bad for us. Um, they're burning through all their troops. We... I, do we ever let them hold that? That's a one-point hold on plus three. Even a novice knows to just stack it all right there, right? I, feel, I uh, Now I wish I had fortified these over here. I could have an eight stack to run here and take it from them. What can they do about it? Nothing. No, we can still try and yoink it from them. I could let them you know, spend their next turn taking out the reds one and the greens one, and then I think that's what we do. We, um, I could, who, I, I want to get over there. I need to have, uh, we, we, we hit here. I need to hit for a card. I need to hit somewhere for a card and then fortify this here and have as much as possible here to just go in after them and just take that from them. Magenta going for a bonus over here. That plus two, it's a two point hold. So you got two point hold for plus two. You've got two point hold for plus two. You're going to have a two point hold for plus two eventually. Not now. You didn't, you kind of messed up there. You'll fortify that back, right? Yeah, yeah. So the three of you on this side of the board, while I'm fighting white over here, is actually pretty good for me. Although green's going to be grabbing this. Red's going to go for this over here. That's a one point hold for plus three. So they have a one, two, three point hold plus five. You guys are having a great start. Not having to fight for your bonuses. I had a horrible start where like, <laughs> just... I, mean, I, 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 I got nothing. I had no place for anything. We can come back from this, though. I only have 19 troops. How do you have 33 troops? I only have seven territories. So in the process of everybody trying to grab their bonuses, I've been a lot of my territories have been getting hit, unfortunately. The white player has 20, but 13 territories. They lost their troops attacking. All right, so we got to get that one point holding that plus three and then slowly push out from there into other bonuses because... We had the worst spawn here, but but fortunately for us, the white players kind of newer, so we can kind of come back from that. And we got to hope that green and red and magenta fight a little bit. I need to get a card somewhere to guarantee a card. I mean, I could just hit here and block the white player from coming in like this. Then again, if I let the player hit this and then this, just kind of waste some more of the troops, right? I'm going to put one right here. He's over here. I'll hit here, forget a card guaranteed card. I want to put as much as possible on this. That way, after the white player most likely just kind of does some damage in here, I can next turn have like a 12 stack come in to hit this and hit this, and then we break them from their bonus and I can then fight them for it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they know that a 4 beats a 1. They're going to try a 3v1 over there. Unfortunately, they didn't hit that 2 for me. I was hoping they kind of would. Yeah, so you get that. And then I break it so you don't get a plus three because it's me versus you on this side of the board. I mean, I guess, do I really want to take this fight? Hmm, kind of got to commit to it at this point. Plus four for Magenta over there. The tough one. It's a tough one. Bit of a rough start for us here in the, in the spawn. Yeah, you get your bonus over there. And that'll be your 2.0 and you're also trying to set it for this over here. You guys are all going buddy-buddy, getting your bonuses not fighting each other. Maybe that's what I should have done. I could have just grabbed this and had like a trust exercise, but I don't want to be in a situation where I've got a, a newer player who has a one point hold. What's a new what's a noob gonna do? A new player? Sorry, don't say noob. People get offended by that. People get offended by everything these days. Novice, a newer player, beginner. Uh, what is gonna, what's a newer player gonna do once they have their one point hold? They're gonna play the game like this, and they're gonna see, oh, uh, this guy's getting big down here. I'm gonna come down and hit him and break him. That's what they're going to do. They're not going to think of doing a trust exercise with me and then like moving over this way for this or this. If I have this and they have this and they had theirs first, they're going to fight me. Okay, this is good. Red and green fighting each other is good because that like 
What you don't want to be is the only one fighting somebody early while everybody else sits back and gets big. But if these guys are all fighting each other, then it's much more okay for me to fight over here. Here's the problem. This dude's got 10 stack right here. All right, so red broke them. Yeah, right. Okay, good, 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 good. This 10 stack's scary here, but if you guys are distracted over here, I can try to beat the white player quickly in 1v1, and hopefully you two keep each other busy long enough, and then hopefully Magenta doesn't get too big in the meantime. I can't go over this bonus. I could maybe try to go for this one. I mean, I could just leave this one alone. It's a bit late, though. I kind of got myself in a situation where I don't have a lot of choice. I can't do too much damage here, otherwise the red player would just follow up. So let's just go ahead and break the bonus so you don't have it. I lost 5 year 4 I am the unluckiest man alive. I am the unluckiest man alive. The worst starting position of anybody on the board. No plays for in the easy, easy bonus to grab, easy bonus to grab, e easy-ish bonus to grab. The bonuses I had to play for were this monster and this monster. Or maybe this monster that green was going in. All right, so you hit there for okay, in the loss, right? You bought it out the second I broke you. That is the best thing that could have happened here. Um, because now I don't have to worry about you sitting back trying to like grudge match revenge against me. That's good. That is good. All I have to do is get the bot out of here, hold this, and let the bot run rampant across the board. I broke their spirit with one move. All right, Magenta's defending their stuff over here, and they're going to work on this bonus. Magenta's got to love every going to war except for them. I would love to go more aggressively over here, but this 10 stack from red is really kind of putting me in a position where I, I can't... I would love to put everything right here and just uh, boom, 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 boom. You know, have like nothing left. But then the red player just goes yoink, 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 takes it from me. I have to leave a substantial amount of troops there to deal with that. And this is what it's going to have to be. And the card trade as well. Okay, that changes things a little bit. So if you're card trading on three, that tells me you're hyper-focused over here. And it's less in, you're going to be less likely to try and start. A, I don't, you know what? Maybe we could take the risk. I don't think the red player is going to pivot to going through this three and this two to fight me for this over here when they just card traded to go war with green over here. And they're going to be worried about defending against green. I think we can take the risk here. That's the name of the game after all. We can do that. You're going to hit over here. You can't. You can hit here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Go full self-destruct on green. And then get strong enough to, so that you and Magenta have to stalemate with each other over there. This is great. This is great. Because now Magenta is going to be wary of Red and Red's going to be wary of Magenta. I don't even have a bonus yet over here. This is my chance to slowly recover. I, I have 17 troops compared to you guys. You guys 37. Whatever. That's crazy. You, hmm, at this point, you're just self-destructing. Ooh, slow rolling. Okay, you're, you're committing to the war. I mean, Red did start this war. All right. And... Yeah, he's trying to do as much damage as red. I, 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 how, how do I only have 16? How do I only have 16 troops? I get I've never held a bonus, but the bonuses are like plus two. <laughs> I guess I lost five on that attack on you over there. All right, let's, um, I just need to, uh, do, do I give you a path, that three a path out? Do I just take the risk and, we gotta take the risk and hope for a good dice here. We gotta take a risk, we're so far behind. We're so desperately far behind, and uh, make sure we just, I can't have the bot just stacking in here and fighting me for this. I need the bot to go elsewhere. So I need to get this and just cross my fingers and hope that nobody fights me. The bot gets a card trade too. Oh, the bot's gonna break me. The bot gets a card trade in three and breaks me. 5v3 breaks me with bad dice, for, or with good dice for them, bad dice for me. Please, five, don't attack my three. Please hit this uh one over here you want that one you want that one you don't want my three you don't want my three you want that one come on give me some luck this match give me some luck this match give me some luck oh thank goodness finally <laughs> a stroke of luck oh my goodness now i just need nobody else to mess with me because magenta could stack six here come in and break me um i don't know i don't know why Gr green's not gonna bother red could but i think red has her own problems magenta's like okay we're good finally <laughs> The luck's turning around. The luck's turning around. You're getting a card over there, okay? Not you're not you're not finishing that bonus yet. I guess you, I don't, why wouldn't you just grab that? I guess you don't want Magenta's being clever. They don't want to grab this bonus because they don't want to make themselves a target for Red to break. They they're worried if, if they grab this. I mean, it's a one two point hold. They don't want Red to be all of a sudden turning their eyes on them. They're trying to like they're trying to lie low. They're trying to be clever and devious and lie low. Which, man, we are so low in troops. I can't, I mean, I get that we're on round five and I haven't held a bonus and I've been fighting the white player a lot, but come on, man. Red's been fighting green much too. <laughs> My troops, they low. All right. 
But based on how red's playing and how they picked a fight with green, I don't think they're going to um think I don't think they're thinking in terms of eliminations. That's why I felt so comfortable fighting white, is because they're starting fights over there. Green's gonna self-destruct on them. I think red, once they finish dealing with green, is going to then turn their eye on magenta. Red's the kind of player who's like, I just want to grab this side of the board and go over. Interesting they broke that. They could have broken this. Instead. Instead. Uh, maybe they're trying to trap red on this side of the board so that red has to fight uh, magenta. Uh, green really want. Yeah, green's trying to get red out of this side of the board. I mean, I could I could do that too. But I got my own problems here, frankly. I need to just sit back and recover for a bit. That's what I need to do. And uh, be on become unassailable by the bot. I need to get cards somewhere. The bot seems to want this, which means they might be going for this five. Um, I need to get cards somewhere. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Actually, you might be able to force the bot into attacking that too. There's a chance where we do this. And let's fortify this. Uh, do I want that there? Yeah, why not? Give the bot a chance to go that way and I can cart it over here a bit. Get some value from that. All right, we're getting back into this. I've got five cards. It's a bit better for us. Yes, 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 bot. I was hoping the bot would hit that. Because if the bot hits that over there, there we go. That's good luck. Finally, the luck's turned around a little bit. Um, and uh, now the red player's pinned on this side of the board. And now um, that just increases the odds that the red player is going to want to or be forced to go to war with magenta, which is what I really need. I need red and magenta to fight. That's what I need. Although, there's a world where Magenta takes you out and just eliminates you right now. Hmm. Like, yeah, here's the problem. By the time I finally get strong enough to do anything, Magenta might be unbeatable. How do I make it so we can actually defeat Magenta? I work with green against Magenta. That's what I do. We need to make sure they don't... I mean, here's the problem. Magenta's getting too strong. Red doesn't have a card trade. Can I do anything to... I mean... What can I do to Magenta right now? I, I gotta deal with the bot. I don't want to go through... I can't go through the middle of the board because I'd break green. We want green to be strong to help. Here's the problem. Green's not going to focus about fighting Magenta. Green's going to focus on self-destructing red. Right now, I need green to leave red alone and deal with Magenta. But these two are just going to feed Magenta's entire left side of the board. And I don't have the strength to go over there and really do anything about it. We, we got to break Magenta. They've got a 7 blocking this, a 14 blocking that, a 7 blocking this. Somebody's got to work on magenta. Problem is, if I spend all my troops running over here to deal with this, I'm breaking green in the process. Oh, gr okay, green's pivoting. Or did you bot out? You're still here. Okay, green's no longer focusing on revenge against red. They're actually trying to play to win, which is actually good. We can, I can now work with green. This means green's still playing to win. This means green is still playing to win. I can work with that. Um. Hmm. What do I do? I need a card somewhere. I'm going to get my card over here like this, bend this, and force cards right here. Whoops. Let's go ahead and get that right there. That's great. Put those right there. We're going to hit you like so. We're going to fortify this over to here. We're going to work on pushing Magenta out of this side of the board and start, you know, damaging them, lowering their troops, reduce the number of territories, and, um, all the while holding my one point my one point hold and plus three. Considering I had pretty much the worst spawn on the board. Not bad. I, I do feel like fighting white might have been a mistake. I feel like I could have just gone for this territory, this ter territory slowly and patiently and probably be in a slightly better position than I am now, maybe? Uh, it's, it's one of those things that's just hard to say because a lot of it just has to come down with guessing at how the other players will play. Looks like they're going to... Are you going to try to eliminate red for cards here? The, the reality is Magenta's just going to get the elimination on red for cards. Either this turn or in the future, unless green does something about it. I can't do anything to fight Magenta because I would break green's bonus. Um, How do I... How do we deal... I mean, get the kill on the bot for cards at some point? Um, I could run through and get the kill on red for four cards, maybe? A 21... I need a card trade in three. I have one. I could go get the kill on red for cards to stop Magenta from getting it and then break them a little bit in the process. I could go through and break this one and this one. Oh, they're doing that. Five for red. I need them to get a card. I don't think they will. What's your bot? They bought it out. Okay, yeah. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta go with the, the, the bot for cards. We can stack everything right here. This, 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 this. 
Um, break you, leave three, come over here, break this, leave three, come here, and get the kill on red. And doesn't it doesn't give me a double card trade, but it does um, stop Magenta from getting the card trade, which is the most important part. And it breaks, uh, you know, for the bonus. So here's the problem. If I go to war with Magenta now, they've got the weight to devastate me afterwards. And green will just stay out of it while I recover. Maybe I just get the, the kill on red and then leave. I could do that. Card trade here. So I don't know if my 21 is going to... We get the kill on red, but we don't anger Magenta in the process. Because green is showing no signs that they're going to deal with magenta. I feel like they want to leave it to me. They're not going to love that either. I, I, like, I've already, I'm angering green in the process, depending on how they think. So I'll just get this right here. And then, like, move out a little bit. I could do some damage to magenta, but I've got my own. Just stealing the kill from them is, frankly, good enough. Stealing the kill from them is good enough to make sure they don't get that. And I get all these cards here. And then we fortify this back over to here. Because remember, we still have the... I've got the bot on my side. I've got green on this side. Magenta is going to work on grabbing this and consolidating towards a one-point hold. Which is good for them, but I, I, I could have actually slapped these out of here, but I'm trying not to anger uh, Magenta right now. The next thing I need to do is get the kill on either... Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm so stupid. There's a... I could have killed... I could have double killed green. I'm so rusty. I'm so rusty. I, you know, this is the third match I'm playing today, and... I could, I could have, I could have, I mean, could I have gotten green too? Green had four cards. I could have gotten green first. And that would have given me a card trade maybe and then gone for red as well. Yeah. If I'm lucky, Magenta doesn't see the kill on green either. And green doesn't have a card trade in four. But if they do see it, yeah. Oh, man. No, they see it. They see it. They see it. No. Please don't have enough troops. Or just be too slow. 17 troops versus their 14. I need you to get bad dice. They're not going for it. They're not going for it. They're not going... That's huge. I need green to not have a card trade in four. And then I can get their card trade in four. It gives me a double card trade. And then I rampage through magenta. Luckily for me, uh, magenta is either... I need green to not have a card trade in four. Or I need green to card trade in four and go break magenta. I can also take out the bots. Because uh, this 26, you know, hits here, hits here, hits here. And um, then we have some go through this. They have a card trade, unfortunate. They might get the kill. They might go for the kill on the bot, too. Which should also be bad for me. But one of us has to break Magenta this turn, otherwise they get so much troops that are unstoppable. You're gonna kill the bot, aren't you, for cards? Yeah, you are. Screw up and feed the kill to me? No. You're gonna kill the bot for cards, and you're not gonna break Magenta, and then Magenta's just gonna roll through the two of us, is what's gonna happen, right? Yep, 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 yep. Alright, so this is not good. I needed to take out Ma How do we come back to win this? when Magenta's got such a stomp of a lead. How do we do that? Because right now, you got... Oh, you, you're gonna... You got a card trade in five. How do we do this? We, we have to team up against Magenta. I need to see you stack this here and break Magenta. Nope. You are not thinking in terms of going for... Your fight. Are you playing for second? Oh, no. You're playing for second, aren't you? You're playing for second. You're playing for second. You're not working. You're not. You're your homies with. Oh, Magenta's kill guarding me over here, by the way. I could run through and break everything Magenta has. Uh, I could break everything they have. Problem is, Green's lining up to eliminate me. Green's not going to work with me against Magenta. Maybe if I like start the the war in Magenta over here. How much do I need here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can put like. Oh, this many troops over there. Rest over here. Here's a problem. Green's lining up to eliminate me. And then we uh, go through and do some damage. Stop them from having quite so much. And how do I path this? We let them have that up there. It's a little more well defended than I care for. I need to be, I need to be hard to eliminate because they're both they're they're both lining up to eliminate me. Green's playing for second is the problem we have here. And I'm gonna leave green alone and hope they leave me alone. Cause to eliminate me, they have to go through uh magenta 17 here. Now, unless Magenta's a fool and clears me out of the area. I need Magenta to kill Garden here. How many troops did Magenta get that turn? They got uh, 13 troops total. If I hadn't broken all of them, I, that would have been an extra 4, 7, 8, 9, plus the territories, 10. I stopped an extra 10 of their troops or so and leveled the board a little bit, but I need green to work with me against Magenta. I already, I'm, I'm doing everything I can here to get first place and playing to win, but if green is determined to play for second place and feed the win to Magenta, there's really, I mean, it, that, at that point, it's a 2v1 and there's nothing I can do. Alright, you're gonna probably 
either kill, kill guard me with a big stack back there. You're gonna push me out. You're gonna feed the kill on me to magenta if they have a card tra uh, to green. If they have card train three, and then you'll protect board. I need green. I, I don't. I don't think green's good enough. I think green's just gonna. Oh, green! Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, green's down. Green is down. Green is down to work with me against magenta. Thank you, my boy. My boy. No card train three is a problem, but I can now go through and deal with magenta as well. Okay, green is down for us working against magenta. Let's do it. Um, I don't want to spend, I need to leave a decent number of troops and also be like spread out across the board, hard to eliminate. How many troops have left? 39. Um, let's break the easy ones here. I can actually leave that side of the board. Who cares about a plus three where green's got a 23 stack aimed at to eliminate me, right? I mean, do I really want to get, then we're giving green that side of the board, right? Hopefully a 33 stack is enough to like be chill. All right, here's, I mean, we're taking a risk here. I'm trying to, like, my only way to not end up in third is to work with green against magenta. Now, if we're lucky, um, we work together against magenta, and then then I get second or first, that's it. But here's the problem. Magenta gets a card trade and then could easily take me out for my four cards here. Hopefully they don't do that, but it looks like they might be. Yeah, I think they're going to take me out right here. I did my best, but ultimately... I mean, unless they're not going for the kill on me. I'm trying my best here, but uh, I mean, green probably just card trades takes me out. I need I need you to kill guard me here. I'm doing my best to play first place here, but from the get-go, I've been at a massive disadvantage. Green took too long to decide to work with me against Magenta. Oh, they've got a, they got 40. I mean, there's a world. I think green just card trades and takes me out here, unfortunately. This has been a losing position from the get-go. Mm, I mean, the fact that you're stacking there, maybe? No, you're taking me out for cards here, aren't you? All right, I tried my best. All right, good game. And, uh, well played. Uh, we, we, unfortunately, we get taken out here and... I mean, I think, uh, Green's actually able to take out Magenta here with that, but, um... We tried our best. We had a horrible start and... We, we did the best we could with what we were given. Beginner, novice, yeah, yeah, all right. But that's for the video. See you next time.